Hi everybody, it's MC from Not Just Scrapbooks, and I am back with a project that I finally finished and that I wanted to share with you. It is a pretty big mini album. Um, it is about six and a half, I think six and three quarter inches by nine and a quarter inches by about two and a half inches wide. It uh, was made with using the Secret Garden Collection. Uh, not a surprise, as you can see right there. And um, it took me quite a while to make this one. And I am thinking that I will make a slightly different one as a tutorial uh, and post part of it uh, if I can get that done in the next couple of weeks. That would be really nice. So um, let's get started. I used uh, chipboard, like just plain medium-sized chipboard, uh, medium weight actually chipboard, 12 by 12 sheets for some of this. And uh, it opens in two different ways. This way to show uh, the dedication. And uh, this page is, I'm going to, I believe, glue it down because the tendency is to want to open the book this way and it doesn't open that way. So I think I'm going to just glue this down and people will realize that you can't open it. The real opening of the book, and again, just it's closed using magnets. Uh, I use the uh, basic grade magnets on this book. Now, on the outside, I use two kinds of lace. The, I think they're both available either at Joann's or Hobby Lobby or maybe even both. One is uh, just a gathered lace. And I wanted to hide this, so I used this one on the edges here. And I cut it into the four pieces and um, ran this pretty gold ribbon, which is a Anna Griffin ribbon that I had in my stash. Uh, I won't tell you for how long, but a long time. And uh, where the two meet, I actually had the ribbon, two ribbons coming back up through where the, the two ends of the ribbon meet. And then I tied a bow, so you've got the four bows on each side. Now for the flowers, uh, this one, this one, this one, and the one that's tucked behind my cherub here are Prima Flowers. And then this one is Wild Orchid Craft. And I believe that this beautiful little acrylic butterfly is, as well as the cherub, I don't know how well you can see the cherub. Isn't he cute? I hope you can see him because he's really pretty. The cherub is uh, from MV Treasurista on um, I think it's eBay or Zipit. Anyway, um, she carries some really pretty stuff and I bought her from her a couple of times and I will see if I can find the link and put it in the description box beneath. So now it opens like this and actually I didn't forgot to put my magnet so my magnet is actually hidden under here and that doesn't you know, make anything go wrong. It's actually pretty sturdy. And uh, it opens like this. So you've got like four panels, really. I mean, you've really got one, two, three, four, five with the two sides. Um, on this one here, I have one of the uh, uh, pockets from the Secret Garden Collection. It's called Tags and Pockets. And so I used one of these from there and I used the little tag from this collection too. And the flower is also from uh, the collection. It comes in the kind of the same shape. I don't have, I think I've used most of my flowers, but it comes in a similar package to both the tags and the banners. And I cut it out and I layered it, curled it a little bit, and then I used some of the Tim Holst's distress paints in tarnished brass. 
I found that the Tarnished Brass really does look quite a bit like just gold. And so that's, you'll see that I use that in a number of places. So this is what the little flower looks like once it's got its little edged, <laughs> its edges done with the Tarnished Brass. Uh, this is a sticker from this big 12x12 12 12 sticker sheet, and those, of course, are from that cuttable sheet with all the little, they almost look like stamps. Now, on the front page here, oh, the closure. The closure is a uh, Tim Holtz ring binder large, and it comes with two ring binders and uh, four brads. And so I have another one left. And uh, the, remember when I teased you with the pieces, the pieces were for this. And uh, the black ones were for a second project, which I hope to do a tutorial on, but I needed to like kind of work out some of the kinks first. So here we go. On the front page, I just have the paper, and it is from the 12 by 12 sheet. I used the other part of it to create this page, and I fussy cut all this out and then I uh, attached it on three corners and that allows me to have these tags in there and you could put more tags and then this is a pet little, pet little better butterfly and the flower here is a prima flower the leaves are from a flower that uh, Erica my friend gave me and Erica is crafting Erica on YouTube and I uh, thank you Erica I really appreciate it I love she gave me three different sorts of flowers and I decided to deconstruct one so I used the leaves here but you'll see the rest of the flower later so here we have a trifold and I have another one of those pretty petaloo butterflies here and then I have one of the stickers here and uh, I cut this out and um, added it on here and this one is not a pocket, so you can put a picture here or a saying or something. And it opens up like this, and in here you have two of these kind of leaflets, and there's room to journal and put a picture and just do what you want to do. And there's a second one here. And they kind of look like doors. I don't know. I kind of like it. Inside here, there is a mini. Inside the mini. And this one has the Secret Garden sticker on the top of it. And I attached it with some more of that um, silk ribbon from Anna Griffin that I was hoarding for so long. And then it opens up. I did edge this, if you can tell. It is edged with the same um, tarnished gold distress paint as the rest of it. And then on the inside, I also this want this was originally green around the stamp. And I didn't want it to be green, so again, I used my distress paint on that. And then I just decorated the first page a little bit, and then left some room. And um, yeah, that's the little mini inside the mini, and it fits right into this pocket. And I hinged this pocket. On the other side of the pocket is yet another pocket. I like pockets, as you may have noticed by now. And inside this one is this little card. And inside the card is another pocket. <laughs> There's a theme here, I think. <laughs> and uh, you have some of the little tags from the, uh, yeah, that's the 12 by, no, this is the 8 by 8 collection. This one is the one from the 12 by 12. And this is from the 12 by 12 paper. Now this one here opens, it's a trifold, and it opens this way. And this is a washi tape, and you'll see this washi tape again, so see how creamy it is. I don't know if this is making you sick, but for some odd reason, my camera seems to be going in and out a lot. Um, so there we go. This is the rest of the flower that I got from, one of the flowers I got from Erica. And I'll show it to you a little closer. 
And in this case, it's made out of silk or some form of material. And I used a pen to edge it in gold. So I've got three layers here. And then this is from the Secret Garden collection. It's one of the... Um, one of the elements from this here from the um, banners it's probably the one that's missing right here <laughs> and when you turn the page there is of course a little mini mini and it opens this way first and you have room to journal and to add a picture or two or three or four and then it also opens this way and it has a little pocket here to put stuff in I think the trick is for the person that will get this is to not add too much to it so that it can still close because that's part of the charm of this is that it closes this way so you have to make sure that you don't overload it to such a point, which is one of the reasons why I use the paper to decorate it and that there aren't like tons and tons of flowers and stuff. Now, we have a plain page here. And remember that washi tape, well, this is a similar, it's from the same collection of washi tape. So it was a lot more creamy. And again, I used the distressed paint on the edge of here. The other thing I used was I think this is the coolest stuff. It is uh, from Karen Foster, and it is called Scrapper Spools. And that's all it's called, I think. And uh, this is bone. It's cream colored. It's actually really white rather than cream. And it is really, really easy to use this and to turn it colors. And you will see, uh, I'll show you shortly, that I turned it into a matching green to do something else. So I'm a big fan now of all things white because um, I use my Copic markers, I use um, my Spectrum Noir more than my Copics. I kind of stopped using my Copics a while back because I got the whole Spectrum Noir collection and it's a lot cheaper and I got frustrated paying six bucks for or seven dollars I think that's probably seven fifty for a single pen. Yes, they are wonderful, but I can do just about the same thing with my um, Spectrum Noir pens. So, yeah. so anyway, a couple of tasks go back in here, and then you have a couple of just plain, um, like they're decorated, but they're just plain paper, no extra embellishments on these two. Now, on the back here, one of the things I want to show you, and I think it's easier to see it over here, is that I made my own washi tape again. And I used a, the same distress paint, the tarnish brass. And right now I'm work, I tried to work on creating a black washi with a fleur de lis on it, and I don't know if you can see that. I was going to use this on, it's kind of hard to see because of the glare. I don't know if there's a way to show it to you that'll be any better. Uh, let me see, I have an envelope. Maybe if I put it on here, you'll be able to see it better. See, it's got a fleur de lis on it. I just, um, it started white. And in this case, I just used, see, it starts off as white medical tape that you can get it on the in the first aid section of your pharmacy and it's pretty cheap really because there's a lot of it on a roll and if you look here I left this one plain and then I stamp with um, that distress paint and I use like a little bird cage and whatnot on it so, okay, the back here. I use some of the uh, sayings and some of the stickers and then just a piece of paper that I cut in a certain way 
and I mounted it all on metallic gold cardstock. And then this is from the chipboard from the same collection. And I just used two pearls on here. And there was yeah, somewhere there was a pearl that I used some ink on, but it's not important. Okay. And finally, here we have another mini. And you open it like this. And it has a bunch of pages. And see this? It's green. This is the same string. I just used one of the Distress uh, inks on this and on the same tape. And now it's green. And it matches what I was doing. And so I just made a tiny little mini here that um, people can, whoever has this can write on and add pictures to. And then it closes with a magnetic closure. And then we just do this to it. And there you have it. My latest little project. And... I'm debating doing something very weird and wild with this one, which is uh, I'm really debating whether or not it would be appreciated by someone as part of my, like as the number one prize for my thousand subscriber giveaway. So if you think that that's something that you would like to win, please leave me a comment and let me know that I should give it away. Um, I know that my subscribers know that there's value and a lot of work that went into this. And um, it's either give away this one or give away my Blue Lady's Diary. So let me know if you think that this would be an adequate gift to give away and whether or not I should give this one or where is it? It's hiding. It really is hiding. <laughs> or this one. It's just as big as the other one, if not bigger. So, and it also opens and it also has a ton of things for people to play with. So the question, and there's a video for this one. And let me know. Would I be crazy to give that away? Or... Should I just do that? So I will wait a couple of days before I announce my 1,000 plus subscriber giveaway till I have seen what you guys think. I appreciate you watching. I always do. I'm really grateful that you guys are out there because you do motivate me to keep on creating things and coming up with new projects. And that's really important to me. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching. And I will see you soon. And to all the mommies out there, happy Mother's Day. I hope you get the phone calls you're waiting for and the presents you hope for. So love you all. Bye-bye.